All right, we've observed things. We've got five clues. We know what we see. We all agree on that. Got some puzzles that we're wondering about what's going on, and some people had some ideas in antiquity, right? What's going on? We want to evolve to modern science. So let's talk about some very important notions. You see, among the puzzles, right, is everything going around Earth, Earth geo, like geology, geography, Earth centered, geocentric, or are things in our solar system? Now, they didn't really have that notion, right? But are, is Earth a planet, and do those dots and Earth go around Sun? Helios, Ra, Inti, heliocentric. What's, I mean, what's true? Well, we know what we see. We see what we see. Well, and then, uh, you know, Aristotle said it's, it's geocentric. Aristarchus said it's heliocentric. Do we, are we happy with just guessing? Or do we want to know? So, let's see what's good. Get that glare out of there. Okay, cool. So let's talk about a really important notion that I wish we would teach our kids. And it's kind of a fun thing. Um, if you have a problem with your car, you might guess or you might not have a clue what's going on, right? But you might guess, if you know a bunch about a car, you go, hey, I really think this is true. But you might want to go to a mechanic. And if you ever gone to a mechanic where they were totally wrong, I went to a vet, two. Two vets, years apart, same kind of condition for my dog, told me I should put my dog down. And, and, and they were wrong, right? Um, so you have to look, you know, and, and you have to kind of, it's, it's hard, it's hard to do. Um, there's a notion here, and we're going to get at this. You know, yeah, I'll come back to this. So you've got the text. I'm not going to write all this down, but I've got this uh, exercise, chapter 3, number 3, the certainty scale. And in the back, I've got a little discussion about some of these. So I'll leave that for you to read. But this is interesting. So there's your personal certainty, and then there's what is known by experts in the field, right? So that, that can be tricky, but I want us to rank. Like, how, I'm gonna make a statement. Uh, we'll, we'll make some. I got a huge list of statements in here, well, 11, and then you can go on from there. How certain are you that the statement is true? Or if you think it's false, how certain are you that it's false? And so zero means I, I, I don't even know what you're talking about. I don't even have a you in there. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm not certain. I don't know what you're talking about. One is uh, all the way up. Now we're not going to be too picky. I could have done a zero to five just as well. But it, but you know, ten is absolutely certain. You'd bet your first child on it, um, or at least your your sister's first child or someone. <laughs> Sorry, um, it's okay, Tony. I won't do it. Uh, so, so, you know, are you absolutely certain? Absolutely. And we're going to see what the scientific mind says and why it took such training and why today most people fail at this and scientists in their regular life can fail at it too. It's a tricky thing. It's hard work. So let's, let's, uh, let's throw this one out. I'm gonna, I'll talk a little bit. A statement, you existed yesterday. You existed yesterday. When you're learning, you gotta get in the game. You gotta make a mistake, you gotta whatever, you know? I mean, throw it down, okay? So, I would not say 10. And no one should say 10 from a scientific point of view. Okay. Number one, I did something bad yesterday, so I don't want to say I do. no. I'm just so. Uh, how do you know that you didn't come into existence before? I mean, you you weren't even here at the beginning of this video. In fact, no one was, or maybe you just came into existence with your everything. 
your pocket's full, your brain full, right? Whatever. You got your debt, your debt's there. There's like, ooh, oh, thanks. Thanks for making me with all that debt. You just popped up. Your memories are there. So how do you know? You know, you can have conditions. You can have head trauma. You can have, uh, be delusional. How do you know that's not happening? <laughs> right? There are, there are conditions. And so it's not just that. I mean, how do you know you existed yesterday? That's a kind of interesting question, right? What is memory? Um, so I would put it at a nine, which is extremely high, probably higher than, I don't know. I don't know. There's no right answer here, but I don't, but I want to say 10 is not the right answer because you don't know. Absolutely. I'm not saying, you know, a nine, you, I, I, you know, absolutely. That's how I live my life. Yeah. I, I did this yesterday, whatever I did. Right. This is, this is really high degree of certainty. But there's room for discovery. And science has to go there. How did the universe start? Big Bang. What was that? Oh, an expansion of space-time. Out of what? Nothing. Were there atoms? No. Did they become atoms? Yeah. Do we know that? Well, we have lots of evidence. What's knowledge? We'll talk about that. You have to have that point of view or else you won't challenge your viewpoint and you'll be sitting around by the fire telling the same old stories. Sometimes we're right, sometimes we're wrong, but we've got to challenge ourselves and be willing to be wrong. Sure, we want to be right, especially if we bet on it, right? But um, So that's that. For another one I like to use is, is your car is where you parked it or your bike or whatever. Um, you know. How, how certain are you that your car is where you parked it? I mean, for me, it might depend on where you park it, but, you know, things happen in a lot of places, right? What could happen? Well, it could have been towed, right? Uh, so I know people that have had their cars towed. It could have been stolen. I know people that have cars stolen, right? Um, Maybe the parking brake went out and it rolled. Maybe it got hit and it got moved over. There's lots of maybes. You don't know, right? You don't know. There's no way, unless you're sitting in it. Then you might say, okay, I think so. I mean, then you might question whether you, you mean, <laughs> so, yeah, I can go, go crazy, but there's a principle here and that's really critical, is, is being a little bit uh, questioning, a little bit skeptical of what we know, right? And, and not, not to, to an annoying degree, because you can't say, oh yeah, Big Bang, I don't believe it. Like, well, where's your evidence? That's, that's just, if you haven't got any evidence, oh yeah, well, I think it's a flat earth. Where's your evidence? You've got to bring, you know, so, so that kind of just making stuff up, that's, that's irresponsible. That's not even being in the game. Right? It's childish. But if you look at it, if we really want, if we really want to, as humans, advance our knowledge about things, we need to know about this. I mean, where is Big Bang on this? I'm not sure. I mean, it's, it's strong, but I've got some questions. I might go, you know, I'm super strong. But it leads to a lot of other questions, and we've got a lot of exploring to do. So, so there are other questions in here. And one of the questions is, you know, does everything go around the sun? Most people felt very certain about that. And guess what? They were wrong. Earth is moving, spinning and traveling really fast around the sun. Doesn't seem that way. And yet people would say, absolutely. No, it's not so. And so we need a way of getting past that, right? Niners are going to win. Okay, you know, whatever, you, you know, you don't know. If you knew, you'd be rich. So, um, so challenge, right? A little skepticism. Science. Let's talk about what science is and be done with this. 
What is science? Okay, you got it in the book. It's written out in detail. I just kind of wrote some, a little bit, not too much detail. So people, I often ask, what is science to people? And it, again, it's sad. We don't, certainty scale is critical to science because you have to say, I, I'm not sure. I think this is true. I'm going to keep exploring it. Why are you exploring that? We already know the answer. Well, I don't know. I'm going to keep going and see what else I find. That's the way it's worked. So when you find something new that overturns an old idea, that's the power and strength. It's not the weakness. It's not about agreement. It's not about our personal bias, what we like to think. We're going to get into that. So the core of science is wondering about something. You've got to have a question or wonder about it. And then you've got to measure it. You can't just think it. Right? You've got to question it. For the old certainty scale, there's some, some skepticism, but not... Not careless skepticism, right? Not irresponsible skepticism. You know, not just playground skepticism. Three aspects of science. Science is the Latin word for to know. That's the goal. We want to know. But we have with an understanding of the certainty scale, we have an understanding that not, not to reach absolute certainty. I mean, I, I don't even know what that would necessarily be, really. Um, and, and we don't need to parse that. We don't need to worry about that. Just it's this philosophy, this, this approach, this idea. We want to increase our certainty about things. And we want to we'll keep digging and learning more. Now, we don't want to keep digging on something that, you know, i got other things to do. So you have to choose what to research. And in fact, when you fund for science, you have to choose what to research. And a lot of people think, why are they wasting millions of dollars on this research? Because they don't know the history of science how playing around, how NASA playing around, how NASA people working on projects, et cetera, leads to discoveries that you would have never known. So you've got to explore because you don't know where to find it, right? But, you know, you've got to be guided by some, some knowledge and something. So, um, so we want to have the goal more certainty. We want to know, to know. The other aspect of science is there's got to be a method, an activity that you do, a scientific process. It's not as clean as A, B, C, D answer. Uh, boy, wouldn't that be nice, right? So, but you've got to explore and you've got to measure. You've got to wonder, you know, and you've got to know where to, to put your time and that's the art of it. Like, you have to have enough experience to go, well, I think we should really set up this experiment and measure this or measure these things and keep track of these. How do we interpret uh, the data? So there's a process, you have this idea, you measure it, you measure it again, you don't just do it. And then if, if I get something, maybe I'm probably in a team, if I was just doing it or if our team was doing it, then, then you do it again, because you don't want to tell anybody if you're not sure. And then you do it again, you, you see what you can do. And then when you share it and someone else, okay, you do it and see what you get. And if, you, if well, I get it a bunch of times, it's repeatable, and someone else and other groups get it, and you can validate it, that pushes it on the certainty scale. That's certainty, not just wanting it to be true. So there's a process of doing this, and some of it's easier than others. It's easy to measure how long it takes to drop something and, and you know, drop it and how long it takes to fall to the ground. Those kind of measurements are easy, but they were profound to get that idea going. Some things are hard to measure. To know, through an activity, a method of measurement and retesting and, and seeing what's true, independent of what you want to be true, right? Inquiry, process, quest. And science is then what is known, the body of knowledge to date. There is a body of, and there was in antiquity, but a lot of it was ridiculous. Now we go like, wow, they believe that? Well, wait a minute. They knew as much as they could. The problem comes, you want to keep exploring, but if someone tells you, no, you have to find this answer. Give me some, some, some data that says this is the answer. That's not, that's not science. That's playing politics and it's also, uh, it's, it's also rather despicable. Um, you have to be able to question authority. 
But again, with respect and insight. Question Big Bang? Okay. But don't say, no, it's wrong unless you've got some evidence. Wonder about it. But understand that there's nothing close right now. Right? Question authority goes to a political construct, too. We need to measure and test. Measure and test. In fact, what's the last in that section, I think, after my little rant, well, it's not quite at the, at the end, that I say this quote by Einstein, blind belief in authority is the greatest enemy of truth. I'd add to that, wanting to be right. Well, wanting is fine, but forcing your opinion rather than saying, well, let's check it out. Let's validate it. Is it heliocentric or geocentric? Aristotle says geocentric. That crazy Aristarchus says heliocentric. How are we going to settle that? Let's get into it. Hewell, Scientific Revolution in one chapter. <clears throat> 